So did you, uh, you were kind of part of the Occupy Wall Street movement? You were. Yeah, I was. You were, right? I was, yeah. So. I was like one of, yeah. Yeah, you go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I just, it's just really funny because yeah, like, you know, I was, you know, when that all kicked off, I was like a, I was like a true believer, you know, I was like, oh yeah, this is it. We're going to, we're going to fight the bankers. And I went to Zuccotti Park. Like I was one of the dudes there. You know, like the, not the, you know how uh, Occupy Wall Street had like little branches and little, you know, ocu- ocu- occupied zones around the country. And sure, around the but world. Zuccotti Park was but the... I was, I, was at, I was at the original one in Zuccotti Park in, in Manhattan. I was there, man. I hey, slept I, in a subway. Really? <laughs> yeah, and so what, what was, was the original? Because that was a while ago. That was what, like 2007 or something? Was that after the financial uh, crisis? No, no, it was like it was, it was like 2011 or something. 2011. So it was after the Great Financial yeah. Crisis. Um, yeah, and what, yeah. what what was the goal at the time there? I don't know. You don't know. It was just I don't like know. Kind of why something. are you asking me? Yeah. Why? Well, I well, here's no my idea. question because you're <laughs> you're pretty like against the COVID stuff, right? You're yeah, it's safe to say. Yes. But the top because we were on the after show that I do occasionally, which we're doing one tonight. So I maybe like a six months ago, we were watching footage from uh occupy wall street and yeah. i couldn't help to think that none of those people would be uh like against the covid stuff like yeah, okay yeah that's, right that's like interesting. No, it, it uh, like they would all like if occupy wall street happened like the people who are kind of like far on the left they don't care about yeah. any of this stuff really anymore like they don't really care yeah. about you know digital currencies they're very much like wear a mask, do what you're told. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I, I, the, my question, why I'm even bringing this up, because I've thought about this and then I've never talked to somebody who actually was there, is do you have any insight to how that basically flipped completely? How like, yeah, man, the, type, the that, type of person just like totally flipped? Yeah, well, I think maybe the, uh, like an uh, even larger question, which is basically your question, is like what happened to like the left in America or probably even sure. in Canada, I would imagine it's the oh, same. Oh, big time thing right where you know i remember when i was a kid you know during the bush the bush years like people were really quite anti-war you know like it was a big thing like the iraq war i mean of course it, maybe it was very superficial but you know the so-called left or whatever you want to call them like the you know liberals in america claims to be anti-war and then barack obama came in and they're like nah war is not so bad come on it's like like sometimes drone strikes are okay sure like we're, we're spreading freedom now. We're spreading gay rights with our drones, you know? And um, and I think it's the same thing. Like, there's this, I think, at least speaking specifically to the United States, and I'm sure that you're very familiar with this concept. It's, uh, you know, it's when the Republicans are in power, then everything, you know, if you're a Democrat, then obviously everything that the Republicans do is, is horrible. And then it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter how, like benign or whatever but it's like it's just it's just basically you know if if the republicans tell us that you know masks are bad then masks are good and if the democrats are in power and you're republican then you know it's just they just flip it around they don't care nobody actually has any principles anymore nobody stands for anything it's just this horse race bullshit sure. where uh, nobody like nobody yeah like big power like game. nobody actually care i mean they don't stand for anything like there's no I you know, if you want to break down the covid stuff for me, it's like just it's, it's just about, you know, like what are my like fun, like basic like what does it mean to be treated like a basic human being? Should I be required, like mandated to get an injection that has only been tested for six months? Like that doesn't seem very scientific to me. I don't know, man, but it's like sure. a free country, I guess. Get it if you want. But like for some reason you say that to, you know, a liberal who might have been at Occupy Wall Street and their head would explode. You know, right. And like Whereas if you told phenomenon. them that, like they probably were like, there was probably some real anti big pharma vibes going on at yeah, Occupy Wall yeah, Street, yeah. right? Right. Like that was probably everybody like, was like, no. fuck big pharma. <laughs> and now those same people are like, I love big pharma. Dude, that's such a good point too. Cause I'm sure that, you know, if you, if you actually took the Occupy Wall Street stuff literally, I mean, big pharma is like one of the biggest scumbag, you know, mega corporation money grubbing freaks on the planet. Sure. But but now it's like, no, how could you question Pfizer? Questioning Pfizer is questioning the science. It's like, guys, come on. Like, yeah, it's Bro. like, I mean, not long ago you would have you, you wouldn't recognize you, the person you've become, essentially.